या सगळ्यांनी म्हणून ते बिल उघडतो पास करा धन्यवाद आपण मला भेट दिला बोय जय हिंद मौसम नूर थँक यू वाईस चेअर पर्सन मॅडम मॅडम आय कम फ्रॉम अ पार्टी कॉल द ऑल इंडिया तृणमूल काँग्रेस हुज फाउंडर गेव फॉर्टी वन पर्सेंट ऑफ लोकसभा टिकिट्स टू वुमेन वे बॅक इन टू थाउजंड फोर्टीन आय कम फ्रॉम अ पार्टी फाउंडेड बाय मिस ममता बॅनर्जी विच ऑलरेडी हॅज फॉर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ वुमन एम पीज इन द लोकसभा आय कम फ्रॉम अ पार्टी दॅट ऑलरेडी हॅज फिफ्टी पर्सेंट वुमन इलेक्टेड इन द पंचायत अँड द म्युनिसिपलिटीज आय कम फ्रॉम अ पार्टी फाउंडेड ट्वेंटी फायव्ह इयर्स अगो विच स्पोक अप इन पार्लमेंट फॉर द वुमन्स रिझर्वेशन बिल वे बॅक इन नाईन्टीन our words were not empty words our words were put into action today we are glad that the rest of india including this government who gave only 12% tickets to women has learnt little from india's only woman serving chief minister the bjp has 16 chief ministers none of them are women <coughs> madam we had we have already implemented the women's reservation bill in the past this government is trying to bring a bill in the present which it cannot implement in the near future madam mr prime minister sir listen carefully to what i'm saying i am mausam noor from malda west bengal i have been elected twice in the lok sabha and now serving my third term in parliament in the rajya sabha if you are really serious about this bill please give 33% tickets to women in the five upcoming state elections in november this year and in 2024 general elections next year madam of course we support this bill it is our bill it is our idea it is what we have already implemented Let me try to explain to you how this bill is fundamentally flawed because this bill is linked to both delimitation exercise and a census it is like writing a check with no balance in your account and the check is dated not 2023 september but maybe 2034 in other words you can't cash the check now you can only keep it in your drawer you will feel good but you won't have any money in your account that is exactly what this government is telling the women of india madam going beyond the walls of parliament we as a nation need to change our thinking in the election commission of india of the nine top posts not one is a woman out of 11000 is officers between 1951 to 9 to 2020 only one in 10 was a woman only one out of 10 ips officers is a woman out of the 680 judges only 83 are women only 15% of women hold senior and managerial positions in india it is heartening that in an in west bengal every district has a police station that is solely run by women madam a woman have to be represented it has to be a team effort and in conclusion sir i ask madam i ask the prime minister what is the name of that lok sabha mp of yours who shamed us who harassed our champion wrestlers on behalf of the women of india what is he still doing sitting here in this new building thank you madam